background. Can you guys see me at all? What kind of camel here? Uh, how are we doing? Oh, doing great. Uh, always good to win going into the bye because you stay a winner for two weeks. You know, so coach taught me that a long time ago, and I uh, was sticking with it. So we had a good time. My parents are in town, um, and, uh, you know, we're running around going to flag football, volleyball, soccer, the whole thing. So what's going on? David, the Lions played Seattle. Those really didn't. Seahawks did a fairly, fairly good job in terms of scoring. Yeah. Does it help you to see a similar offense against this defense? It obviously gives them a look at, at what – close to what you'll have as well. But is yeah. there a benefit in seeing how they handled that offense already this year? Oh, yeah. And, you know, we played them last year, too, in Detroit. So uh, two games right there, really valuable stuff for us. Um, and, it, like, even on a micro level, you know, just the techniques of how they play, uh, the different shades that they play on the defensive front, uh, some of the secondary players and how they how they stack up against similar bodies. You know, DK and Mike are bigger guys. You know, Chris is a bigger guy, so they can kind of see – uh, some of those things. Of course, they have a few new players, but um, yeah, it's really helpful. And then, you know, honestly, just like crossing over, you know, there's some similarities with Detroit's offense. You know, I really reg regard them highly and have kind of followed their progress over the last three years. You know, just the development of their offense, the run game, the play actions, the attitude. You know, it's really a style that um, I would love to look like that eventually as we put things together, you know, and really get polished. This is a team that's in their third year looking pretty polished. So that helps too, you know, for the for our defense, kind of looking at some of the things they might see similarly to, to our attack on offense. Dave, you mentioned the bye week and there's a lot of self-scouting that goes on. Yeah. Just anything watching the tape that points out to you, whether it's things you like, maybe things you're not a huge fan of that you didn't notice at first glance? I really don't want to share a lot of that, you know, as far as self-scout. Uh, but some of the general things I will say is just um, – I love the variety of things we have and where we're headed. I think that's also a challenge for us, the styles of runs. You know, we talk about this a lot with our running backs, you know, kind of understanding we have a bunch of different styles. When you're a certain run game, is, is goes a certain way if you're a wide zone team or you're a gap scheme team, and that's all you do, you get better. Muscle memory happens faster, you know, so there's a little more challenge. And my thought process long term, my, my thought process long term is, that we have a product that's that's so um, that there's so much variety that we can attack different fronts different ways and be able to execute them all um, very well. So and we're not there yet. We have a long ways to go with with those things. Um, but that's kind of some of the things. And and honestly, just like you know, really appreciating through four games the job that these guys have done. Our guys, our offensive players, Baker, the whole group, the offensive line of finding a way to win games. Um, even if it's not going all smoothly, I think that's league-wide, that's pretty similar. But just finding a way to win in different situations was encouraging. You did it a little different this last game where, you know, some quick throws, first down, um, yeah. you know, almost like extended handoffs, like you would say. Yeah. But as far as the running game, did you see progress there? And oh, do yeah. You, do you see this? these guys in Rashad in particular, is that, is that big game coming? I mean, you need long runs, yeah. right, to have a couple of those to make yeah. the averages much better. But yeah, you'd love to. Um, and again, I can't, I know like one thing I shared with our guys, with our group, um, which I don't mind sharing with all of you is just, um, there's going to be a game. And in Seattle, it was different groups over different years, but there's going to be a game that kind of is like a, a statement game where it all comes together. The run game's hitting, the actions are there. Not that you're perfect, you know, um, the known pass situations are crisp. The red zone passes are on time. All those things kind of, there's a game that that happens, and that's what we're that's what we're striving for, is for that game to come together for us. But at the same time, you know, knowing while we're figuring things out, do we have enough offense to gain yards and make first downs? And, you know, the Saints game was just one of those things. Like, what are they giving us that we can take advantage of to just get a new set of downs so we can get a few more runs um, so that we can – you know, take some shots and those things like that. So, yeah, trying harder for first downs. Coach, when you look at the Lions on defense, their front seven, Yeah. this may be too simplistic, but did they just try to out-tough you at that point of attack? Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, discipline. So they're, everybody's where they're supposed to be. Um, and Coach Glenn's done a great job of just really making sure their gap sound, their sound in their assignments, and then just run like hell. 
run to the ball. And I think when you look at their stats over the last couple of years, the the explosive runs, there's just not a lot against these guys because it's group tackling. So even if a guy takes a shot and misses, there's two more guys running full speed to pick it up and, and finish the assist really quickly, you know. So I think those things hand in hand, the, the discipline and then the effort, absolutely. You know, this is a group that um, really there's one guy to talk about, you know, in Hutchinson, but 54 is pretty fantastic inside. And then the whole group in general, they play so well together and they all play tough and they never quit. So another great challenge for us up front. How much is your attention on Hutchinson? How much do you have to know? All the time, where he's lining yes. up, what he's doing. Yeah, every play, Hutchinson, where's he at? You know, is he on the right? Or they, did he flip him over for a series? Um, just being conscious of that, whether it's the run game or the pass game. Dave, how much growth have you seen with the offensive line? Obviously, there were so many new yeah. pieces in different spots. Uh, you know, I know, I think uh, Jason Light talked about you know Luke's development from from a year ago playing yeah. guard now to tackle. Yeah, ton of development. I mean. And then, of course, you know, Tristan's played ball a lot, you know. Um, but even just his level of comfort on the left side is huge. Um, you know, really, really, Filer's the guy who's, you know, kind of played in a similar spot, you know. And he really, he really has brought like a kind of an experienced calm to the group where he, he just, he, he's never really out of his frame. Everything's controlled. He uses his hands with power. And I think that's something that Cody can kind of see and go, man, like here he is, this fantastic athlete. He wants to be an athlete all the time. Sometimes you just need to be controlled and have, you know, detailed hand placement and footwork. Um, you know, and and of course Hainsey just, you know, just kind of working through having a veteran on one side, a rookie on the other. Him just being able to like bring the whole thing together. They've been working through those challenges, um, and I've seen a lot of progress there. You know, you already talked about Luke, so I don't have to. Um, but again, you know, it's still. We know what to do, but it's mastering the different run types, mastering the actions and how the defensive line reacts to things. That's where we need to get to. And I don't, even up front, and I keep saying it about the whole group, that's where we're heading, but we're not quite there. Devin Tompkins is on the smaller side as a receiver, but he <clears> plays <throat> big, whether it's getting after the football, whether it's taking on a, a would-be tackler. Is, is that a fair assessment of him? Yeah, just lightning in a bottle, you know, brings juice. And I, I shared it with you guys. The ball finds energy. So when he screams across the field, it grabs the eyes of the quarterback. So, and that's, you don't have to be that fast and quick. Any size, any speed, when you break decisively, the quarterback sees you and then you find the ball. So um, he's doing a great job with that. Why do you think you guys have been so good in the second half? A little bit of a slower start yeah. in the beginning. Is it because it's still. Everybody's kind of new in a new offense, or? Yeah, I would say so. I would say when you know exactly what you're doing and why, you come out, and it's just like the first play is like the 70th play, you know. Um, and the execution's at a high level. There's no indecision up front with the quarterback, with the backs, everything. We're learning each other right now. So Baker's still learning how to throw to Mike, Chris, you know, all the other young guys, you know. Um, so that whole component, I think, is, is a part of it, you know, um, where we'd love to just come out and, you know, just start ripping it from the first quarter on. I love the fact that our guys kind of regroup, see what's happening. We talk really quick in the half. You know, we don't make a big deal out about just some micro adjustments. And then we kind of move forward and we're the type of offense from a character standpoint that is built to finish. High character guys, guys that are tough minded guys that are great teammates, so nobody's flying off the handle at each other throughout a game. They just stay together, and then we finish, you know, and so I love that about our group. What can you say about Baker's decision-making, whether it's, you know, making the right throws, yeah. playing relatively turnover-free, and, and finding the right guy? Yeah, fantastic, right? Playing to win, playing to win the situation while we're learning stuff, playing to win the game, win the situation, where are we on the field? Um, and he's done a fantastic job of that outside of a few, you know, decisions. Um, but that's the part that, like, kind of we take for granted. But he's playing really good football as a quarterback in this league. So looking league-wide. Um, so we're fortunate to have him here, you know, for our group. Coach, is the Lions defense a direct relationship and a direct reflection of Dan Campbell? I mean, he just strikes you as a tough guy you want to fight for. Well, it's two of them. Because Aaron Glenn, he's, he's a competitor. You see him on the sideline. He's, you know, he's, he's animated. 
He's fired up if they give up something silly that they shouldn't have. He's flying off. So I think it's a combination of both guys. I don't feel like Coach Campbell needs, feels like he has to be over there telling those guys what to do when, he, when they have a coordinator like uh, Aaron Glenn, who's, who's really leading the charge and demanding a lot out of that group. Good. All right, thank you all.